Hello everyone, I am Rohit and this is the day 12 of the flow designer training. In this day we will talk about the dynamic flow logic. In our flow designer you have seen that many uh, flow logic we have discussed like if, else, uh, until, do, all those stuffs. But today we will talk about the dynamic flow. So what is the dynamic flow? By seeing this name you can understand that dynamic flow means that we can pick the flow dynamically. So when we create a flow, right? From the flow, we can directly call a subflow depending on the fixed subflow. Basically, we can call the uh, that from the flow, we can directly call the subflow. But with the help of dynamic flow logic, we can actually call a flow dynamically on the runtime. So in the runtime, we can decide that which flow, this flow or this flow, we should pick runtime based on the situation that we call the dynamic flow. In the dynamic flow, we have a very specific call flow templates. We have to be create a flow template or the template uh, subflow or flow and after that we can define that specific flow. So first we are going to create a template and then template will have number of inputs. So these are the temp for one template there will be a one or two or three template and then we can create a specific flow called S1, S2 uh, with the copy of this template and we can define a number of action like here it can have three action and then for this action, uh, this temp, uh, this specific situation, there could be two action. So that there will be one main uh, subflow called template, and then that will have number of input. Uh, these are maybe three. Similar number of input has to be present on S1 or S2, which is the situation based template or scenario based template. There will be a similar number of inputs, but their actions can be different, right? So, for example, for one uh, subflow or one flow, there will be multiple things is going to happen, but another subflow, there will be a uh, different scenario can be happen. So, let me go back to the service and show you that how it can actually works. So, this is the catalog item that catalog item we are using past few sessions. And in this catalog item, we already have defined a uh, flow. You can see this is the flow we have uh, created in last video. So, if you have not watched my last video, I suggest that go and watch that previous video. From there, we are going to build something. So let's click the try it on this catalog item. So if you see that uh, this catalog item, uh, there will be a uh, asset type called laptop and desktop and there is a manufacturer called Apple and HP. So now let's say that somebody raised a request with the manufacturer called a, uh, HP or Apple based on their selection, HP or Apple, the flow should be picked so the main flow will be there but as well as that there will be a subflow based on this selection the manufacturer selection there will be a subflow and this subflow will have various capacity maybe integration maybe sending notification all those stuffs but we don't know at the moment but we can actually dynamically pick the uh you know the subflow that is our main um concept today or that is our main focus today so based on this selection, we are going to select dynamic flow. So let's go back to the flow designer and open these, uh, uh, this main flow called asset requested this uh, main flow. In this flow designer, we have built this asset requested this uh, flow earlier in our earlier video, like uh, past video. Here, there are many things we are doing. Let's say that we are doing the manager approval. Then we have a decision builder. We have built the decision builder, right? and based on the decision builder we are doing something right so whatever we are think after manager approval what i need i need to have a call a separate thing called um, separate software i'm going to call that and that is going to be dynamically so if i click plus sign if i click the flow and i can select a specific flow call let's say that abc or any specific flow but um i don't have any opportunity to based on this value let's say that somebody selected the manufacturer apple or laptop Based on that, I don't have opportunity to select subflow. Yes, you can put that if and else block. Like here, you can put that if the manufacturer is HP, you can put uh, this block else like that. But let's say that there are 10 or 20 or 30. Are you going to put the 10, 30 block? No, you are not going to build that, right? For that, we can dynamically actually call our uh, subflow, okay? So let's do that. The first thing first, we are going to build a subflow. As I mentioned that first we need to build a template. So I'll uh, create a new uh, subflow. I'll click the subflow. And let's say that put the temp, uh, the uh, first I say the template uh, subflow we need to be built. So I'll select the template, then colon, and then I'm going to say that asset requested. 
So this is our first subflow. I am going to click submit. And as I mentioned that this template subflow input and output is going to be same for actual um, uh, subflow. So I'm going to click that. Let's say that I'm going to put that um, name uh, anything. So let's say that I'm going to put uh, here call. I'll take this uh, value called asset required. So this input. Okay, so maybe I need that one. So I'll go here and then I'm going to create a new input called asset required okay and this is might be integer i am selecting that okay so this is my uh, subflow actual subflow i have built that the template subflow and now i have uh, based on these like um manufacturer or um, based on this i'm going to build a um do some actions right so let's build that the first subflow i am going to pick that call i'm going to create a first subflow so first for that i'll copy this subflow I'll click copy subflow and what should be the name of this uh, uh, subflow I'll say that the template asset requested then colon then I'll create one uh, one for Apple one one for HP so I'll go here and then this is for Apple I'll copy and one another for I'll copy or maybe I'll go here and then copy another subflow called for HP this is be the HP okay so right now we have three uh, subflow one is the template subflow main subflow this is the um, actually the Apple subflow if you see their input are same and this is the HP subflow so depending on that actual user input we are going to pick this any of this any of these two and this is our template one actually that this is our standard template one so let's go back here in this uh, flow logic and here we can go to this get after get catalog variable you can click here then we can go to the flow logic and then we can select that uh, dynamic flow you can select that so first we need to be select the template flow so let's start with that our um, uh, subflow template flow name is template colon asset requested let's start there uh, you can see that i'm not able to find out because this subflow does not have any activity and it's not yet published so let's put that for example i'll put that log so i'll go and put the logs here i'll do the same thing for rest of these two so i'll go So publish that. So this three uh, flow is uh, subflow is right now published. Now if we go back here in the main main flow, now let's refresh this um, tab one more time and go up here on the dynamic flow. So first I'm going to select that template. What is the template? Our main template is called template asset requested so this is our main uh, flow and the moment you selected the template you can see the input parameter where we need which input we are going to pass that so we are going to pass this asset required so let's say that i'm go going to get this asset required from this catalog variable i'm going to pass that and here this is a string field we need to be passed the string name right so for that what i'll do here i'll go back and let's say that let's say th this one right so what is this naming structure so this is our actual um, the template and here these things is a dynamic it should be apple or maybe it should be hp we don't know so this is a dynamic right so we'll go back here under this uh, case put this is a string after this page and there should be this value should be come from the variable so asset type so actual name will be template colon asset requested uh, dash and this will be actually our um hp or apple this will come like that so let's save that let's check one more time i'll put this wait for completion and activate that so what will be happen until unless this dynamic flow or subflow is completed it will be wait and then after that it will go for further process so in this catalog item you can see that i have asset required count so let's put that something called five and then asset type i'm going to put the laptop 
and this is the important field called manufacture based on this manufacture selection apple or hp it is going to call dynamically that apple subflow or hp subflow let's put that apple one and then order that the moment we order that it should trigger our um, subflow so go back to the flow designer go to the execution first so i'll go to the execution so you can see that the first uh, i'm going to uh, get that call asset requested and it's in an error state let me open that the error we got in that call asset requested one so let's open that what error we got actually the error we got that called template asset requested dash then we got the value equal to laptop because i think i have mapped wrong field the field should be if i go back to the flow designer and here i said that asset type but it should not be asset type it should be actually uh, go to this catalog item and the manufacturer that is the thing wrong thing i have done so let's activate again and try one more time now go back and raise one more request quickly this time i have selected the manufacturer is hp and ordered that now go back to the flow designer go to the execution and let's see yes you can see that the asset requested is in progress and template asset requested hp dynamically call so if i open this one you can see the dynamic asset requested this dynamic flow is called and this is the template name and then uh, during this process it's generate the flow name called template asset requested dash hp which actually call our dynamic flow so this way you can dynamically call your um, flow but yes we could have done that through that if and else block instead of this one i could have put that one if block like if here in this if block like if this asset type is called get variable manufacturer is h apple i can put this one but in that case uh, if it is a too big like 10 20 uh, it it was not possible for me right so i could have done like this way also i mean if it is a simple one one or two uh, if block you can put the otherwise you can use the dynamic flow logic so that's it for today if you have any question let me know in my comment section thank you very much have a great day